Hi everyone! So I know I haven't filmed a video in a really, really, really long time and I don't really have an excuse for it. I just wasn't really filming or vlogging very often. But I'm going to try to get back to doing both of those things and I have been vlogging. The link to it will be down below since it's a different name and vlog now. Um, but yeah, so since I started doing that I decided, you know what, I should start filming videos again. That's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to film my July favorites, which I guess is kind of a lot when I'm looking at my stuff right now, but yeah. So we're just going to get right into it because this could take a while and I really don't want it to, so yeah. So the first thing I want to talk about is actually a shampoo and conditioner, and it's from Organics, or I guess just OGX now that they've changed their, their name. It's the Weightless Hydration Coconut Water Shampoo and Conditioner. The main reason I got this um, about four to five months ago is because at the time I was getting eczema right here, or I had eczema right here along my forehead and at my temples, and they say that if you have eczema um, kind of in that area or anywhere near your hair, to use a shampoo and conditioner without SLS or SLES, and at the moment I don't know what this stands for but that's what the hell you do. And this says right on the bottle that it doesn't have any of that. Check the ingredients, definitely doesn't. So I started using this and within a few days it just went away and I loved it so much for what it did to my hair and the way it smells that I decided to just keep using it. So now I've been using it for the past few months and it's really great. It smells faintly of coconut um, but it kind of smells like the beach. The beach in summer, that's exactly what it smells like. So this next thing is something I actually got because my mom had it and when I borrowed it from her or used it, um, I ended up really liking it so I went and got this huge tube of it. It's the L'Occitane um, Dry Skin Foot Cream, uh, it's the Shea Butter one. I have the hand lotion of this, which I absolutely love, so I'm not that surprised that I love this because I know the hand lotion is really hydrating, so this is pretty much exactly the same except you just use this on your feet instead. Okay, so I'm moving on to makeup things. The first one I have here is the Sephora Retractable Brow, Brow Pencil, and it's waterproof, and I have it in the shade Midnight Brown. I tried this because I had run out of my Anastasia one and at the time I guess I just didn't feel like spending the $20 or however much it is on the Anastasia one so I went for this one from Sephora which is pretty similar. The only thing that's really different about this is that the end, I guess you can't really see it so well, but the end is not um, like a brow brush, it's not a spoolie, it's just this little comb which I actually think I might like a little bit better because I find that with the spoolie sometimes it rubs off so much of the um, eyebrow pencil that I end up just having to fill in more. I don't know, maybe that's just me. I have no idea. But I really like this. Um, the color is not so much a match and I think it might be too light, but I don't... I'm pretty sure I remember when I went there they didn't have that many colors, which was or I guess is my only qualm with this, but otherwise I do really like this and it is waterproof. I've worn it to the gym and obviously I sweat and it stays on and my eyebrows still look good after I'm done, so. Next are two um, eyeliners that I have. The, they are both from NARS, it's the same formula. It's the Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner. This is in Rue Bonaparte and this one is in Via Veneto, Veneto, I don't know, I'm probably butchering that name and I'm okay with that right now. So this one is just a kind of nude color, kind of like your skin tone. I'm pretty sure I've talked about both of these in a previous video, but I use this in my um, on my lower waterline, um, especially in the morning, or specifically only in the morning because it just brightens your eye and I don't like the look of any white eyeliner there because I think that's really harsh looking. So I think this is more natural to use something that's kind of a skin tone color. And then this one is just black. It's just a really matte black 
and I um, I don't actually use it to line my eyes because I prefer to use liquid eyeliner so I just use the tight line and it stays just like it says it would it stays pretty much all day I don't have any issues with it smudging and yeah I like I really like both of these Next makeup product is from Revlon, and it's their Colorstay Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Rose. Ooh. Well, I just pulled out the sharpener, but it does come with a little sharpener at the end, which I don't really use because I don't think it's that necessary to use it. But this is just, for me, kind of a My Lips Look Better neutral shade, um, and I wear this pretty much under any lipstick. Sometimes I wear it on its own and then just put a little Vaseline on top of it just to make it a little glossy and I really like it and even better it's from the drugstore so I'm not shelling out a bunch of cash for it um yeah so I this is the first one from them I've ever tried but I liked it so much that I ended up going back to get the red um lip liner from them and I also really like that one yeah, so if you're looking for a really affordable and good lip liner that isn't so expensive, I would recommend getting this one from Revlon because these are pretty great. This next thing, when I first saw it, I remember thinking that they just were so adorable because of the imprint on the blush itself, and it's the Clinique Cheek Pop in the shade Ginger Pop. It comes in this clear case, which I think is really nice because then you can really see the color and then I don't know if you can see it so well on camera anymore sort of kind of not really sorry um but yeah it has this little flower daisy imprint on it which I think is just so cute but what's better I mean, obviously besides the fact that it looks really pretty this blush it's really buildable which I like and it's not so much of a all at once color and then you're trying to fade it out a little bit and blend it out. Um, so I like that this is really buildable and for me this is a good everyday color. I'm planning on getting I think one more uh, but I can't right now because I'm on a summer spending freeze but I guess in the fall I will probably get another one of these just because I like it so much. It has a really good stay. It has really good staying power also so yeah. My next favorite is a bronzer and it's from Estee Lauder. It's their bronze goddess and I have it in the shade medium deep this compact is huge it's pretty much the size of my palm but I really like it because that means it comes with a really big mirror so you can see right there Ooh, see it's huge um, it also comes with this really nice brush which is not scratchy at all it's pretty soft and it works really well for contouring and um, blending it out so I just keep that because I that's what I use to apply this and like I said I have it in the shade medium deep as you can see it's a really matte bronzer when I went to Sephora the woman who was trying to help me pick out a shade kept recommending that I get it in medium which I guess it looks okay on me when she applied it but the issue I had was that there was so much glitter in it and I just couldn't I just don't like glitter in my bronzer so I ended up going with medium deep even though she, she didn't seem to want to give it to me, but sorry, Sephora lady. Um, yeah, this one is really matte, which I like, and I've been using it as a contouring shade or just as my bronzer. Like today, it's the only thing I'm wearing, which I I don't I didn't apply that much, so I guess you can't really tell on camera. But yeah, I really like this. The next favorite is a nail polish, and it's from Essie. It's from this year's summer collection and it's in the color Orange. I love that name. I just really love that name. And I really like this shade of orange. Um, I have, I think, I'm pretty sure I have other orangey shades, um, like Essie's Meet Me at Sunset, but this one to me is a truer orange than that one is, which is why I like it. I've been wearing this on my toes, I don't know, for the past month now. Um, I've obviously been painting them in between, but it's the only color I've been painting them with. So yeah, I really like this. You can get this at drugstores, I think, and at Ulta's, Nordstrom, yeah. 
The next two things are food items, and this is making so much, it's kind of making a lot of noise as I move around. But it's the Mediterranean Snacks Baked Lentil Chips. It's their sea salt kind, and I didn't get, these are gluten free, but I didn't get them because they're gluten free. I just decided that I like lentils, and why not try lentil chips? They don't taste exactly like potato chips. I'm not going to say that they do because they don't. Lentils and potatoes don't taste the same. But these are really good. Um, I eat these with the Trader Joe's Reduced Guilt Spinach and Artichoke Greek Yogurt Dip. And they are phenomenal together. So if you can find these, I got these at Whole Foods. So if you can find these, I highly recommend them. They do taste really good. They're not, um, they aren't as salty, which is really, really nice. I'm not big on salt. So, yeah. I just really like these. So this next thing is actually also gluten-free, and I didn't even realize that when I bought it. It just sounded good. So I thought, why not try it? It's the Nature's Path Organic Sweet and Salty Chunky Chocolate Peanut Butter Granola Bar. And it says gluten-free on it, like, twice. And I don't know. I don't know. I just didn't really realize it. Um, but yeah, these are really good. I eat these after, um, or I've been eating them after I've worked out, and they just taste so good. It's funny because I don't know what I was expecting them to be like, or maybe I just haven't had a granola bar in a really long time, but it was actually a lot to be eating. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but these are really good. I do really like them. You can't even, I mean, there's, you're not going to tell whether or not it's gluten free or gluten. There's no difference in taste there. It just tastes like chocolate and peanut butters with a little bit of oats in them. And that's about it. And they're really good. So if you like that combination of sweet and salty, try these out. I did get these at Whole Foods, and I don't think I've seen them in regular grocery stores. So that might be the only place you can get them. But if you do go there, try these. Okay, I think that's I think that's it because that felt like a lot to me and it's probably because I haven't done a favorites video in a really long time. But yeah. So those are my favorites for the month of July. I hope you like this video. I'm gonna try to do more videos. So if you have any recommendations of what you want to see, what I should be posting, leave a comment, send me an email, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!